What is happening everyone? It's 2G Smooth and welcome back to another Grounded Guide and today everyone we're just going to be going over briefly how to farm Silk Rope um, starting off with the early game locations that you can get the web fiber and then going to the end game locations as well as a few extra tips and tricks and then how to craft it up but yeah, so starting out, we're going to be going to the oak tree is probably the first location you're going to come across it um, when you head north from the spawning area. And you'll see these little web sacks. I believe you can bust these open with a tier 1 axe, but you can go ahead and bust these up. You'll get web fiber. Hey, hey, hey. And then just be prepared for a bunch of little spiderlings. And do know that they do drop some tier 2 parts, so this is a pretty good spot to start um, analyzing this when you first start. And then gather all the web fiber. Now once you kill all the spiderlings, they will also give you web fiber. So yeah, um, and the ones that you see, like the actual webs that you can get stuck in. So, um, yeah, this is a nice little early game spot and probably the first one you should hit up for that. And then, moving on. Alright, and we are now at our next location. Pretty much at the hedges where you get the berries uh, right in this little corner. You're going to see this little pile of web sacks. You'll have some of the Orb Weaver Juniors you can kill. Um, once again, this does have a chance to drop tier 2 stuff, and then you'll want to kill all the spiderlings to get that extra web fiber. And then moving on, you can go over to the broken or fallen part of the lab, and there's also more web sacks in here. Um, just be advised, once again, this is like Orb Weaver Jr. territory. So if you're just starting a game and you don't have a lot of armor, um, you might need some. So yeah, just keep doing that. I believe, yeah, there's one right there. I don't think there's any down there. This right there. And I don't think there's any over here. Yeah, so that's it for this little area. And moving on, we're still at the hedge area, but we went all the way over to the entrance and up through the hedge maze. And once you start traversing the hedge maze, you'll come across um, even more web sacks. So plenty up here um, for early game use. So as soon as you get to this, this is like the second location you're going to go in the game. Um, so you can harvest it up this way and then I believe there is a bunch up on this frisbee yes so you would want to grab this and then that's pretty much all of the early game spots now for the end game I do go in here um, now that I have like level 9 um, tier 3 armor and weapons and stuff like that and it's a lot easier to farm the Broodmother, um, if you beat her, and I'll show you guys real fast how relatively simple this is. Um, let me go ahead, switch around some stuff, take that off, put on Mithridatism to ignore the poison, and then some critical hits. We're going to eat a Spider Slider, Liquid Rage, some beef, all the stamina stuff, and then, yeah, we're just going to... Molly Wap her real fast, and I want to show you guys how much web fiber um, you get because you're gonna want to farm the Broodmother anyway to in order to fight the Manus boss, and then um, yeah, for the charm, there's a like one percent chance she'll drop a trinket, um, so if you're farming for that. You're going to have to fight her a lot. And this is my method. Alright. Bye bye. And all the web fiber. 
I believe, yeah, you can harvest these individually or they explode and all the web fiber should go somewhere. I thought that it went somewhere. But yeah, you get 15 alone for beating the brood mother. And if you kill them up here and you're farming this, doing it like 5, 10 at a time, it's quite a bit of web fiber. So that should get you um, a lot of zip lines built and stuff like that. Okie doke, so let's go ahead and check out the map. We are right below Castle Mordork and north of the hedges. Just pretty much went straight up here. Now you'll either have to come all the way around from the upper yard ascent and going through here and then exploring the whole upper yard or you can just build along this rock wall right here and yeah. Um, You'll have to build from like down here and then another staircase up to that one. And it's a lot easier and it gives you pretty quick access to Castle Mortar, which you'll need end game. Um, I do use this route just because the Black Widows and then the Black Oxes. And I'll explain that here in a second. But yeah, um, you'll pretty much have to clear it out from the baddest mofo in the, in the yard right there. And there's these web sacks, you can chop them up. Like I said, you will need the tier 3 axe for any of the web sacks and the black widow nest. And they, um, I, there are like four of them, I believe, but I only use this one. And then pretty much I'll come up here and do my black ox farm, which is the route i um, using right now. And then I'll come to the undershed. And then the Black Widow that you fight in the Undershed area, it, it doesn't respawn after the first time you kill it. Uh, but the web sacks down there do. And there's quite a bit of web sacks down there as well, guys. You can get all the web fiber in the world from those once you do hit in game and you have that tier 3 axe to harvest them. But yeah, um, I just use that route and... That's pretty much my routine. I have plenty of web fiber. I can't complain. And I don't think I've ran out of it yet. So, yeah, using these farming methods, they're definitely going to help you all out um, early and end game. And then I'll head back to the base. And then for those that are new, I'll show you how to craft up the web fiber. Just know you will have to take it to a field station and analyze it to get the silk rope. Um, so yeah, BRB. Back at the mighty base, alright, we're just gonna go to the spinning wheel, and once you have it analyzed and you're required, or have the requirements to make silk rope, that's all you need is some web fiber, wham bam, put five in there at a time, and thank you ma'am. Um, yeah, so the more spinning wheels you have, obviously the more silk rope you can craft up, and I, I find that three or four is enough. Um, yeah, because some of these zip lines, they can cost quite a bit, like 70, 80 uh, silk rope. And then, of course, you're going to need it for crafting. And if you have multiple people on the server, then you're going to need it. But I hope this guide has helped you guys. Um, just a little announcement for the channel. If you are subscribed, a friend, family, whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, I, I just... First off, thanks for all the support. Um, Grounded has, the Grounded community has been pretty great, but if you guys do want more content, um, just know I do um, have a playthrough with the kiddo, so you can check that out on the channel XG Smooth instead of TG Smooth. Yeah, so there's a playthrough of Father and Son playthrough on there um, with the kiddo. And then I also have an art channel, Otherworld Art Studio, all one word. Um, if you guys want to go check out some artwork by me and show your support there, I'd greatly appreciate it. But besides that, yeah, um, I appreciate all your support and thank you. Uh, remember to stay smooth. Peace. <laughs>